trail here. Well worn. Laura, I found a radio on one of the invaders you killed. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. I can monitor the invaders' frequencies from here while I patch myself up. I'll let you know if I hear anything useful. What more can you tell me about the Wicked Vale, Nadia? My people stay far away from that place. They have for centuries. When the Soviets were here, they tried to build an outpost in the Vale. But they angered Baba Yaga, and she drove them all mad. Grandpa told me all about her. She lives in a magic house that can walk with the legs of a bird. Do you believe all that? The house with the bird legs? I trust Grandpa. He was in the Gulag when the Soviets took my grandmother into the Vale to help them study the ruins. The witch killed her, and he's never forgotten that. But a witch straight out of a Russian folktale? It sounds unlikely. Just be careful. Something is in the Vale. Nothing good happens in that place. Laura, hang on. I'm picking up a transmission. You need to hear this. Overwatch! Come in! We need immediate extraction! Shit! What the hell is that? It's walking? Huck? What the Did you hear that? That was the witch! Something's definitely happening out there. <laughs> the bottom of it. This must have been a sensor to burn incense in, but it's been modified.
No need to go inside the old temple. Head down to the wooden walkway along the cliff. There should be a rope leading to it. That path will take you straight to the veil. ceremonial cloth worn by priests during mass. Grandpa made it that far, at least. You're almost into the veil. Nadia, I think I found your wicked veil. I don't know if it's Baba Yaga, but there's something out here. Be careful. This is her land. Nadia, my granddaughter. By now you already know. I am going into the veil. To kill the witch, Baba Yaga. I have gone to seek revenge for your grandmother. There are newcomers in our valley. Armed men arriving in helicopters. I do not know what they want, but I know if I am to go, this is my last chance. You deserve to know the truth, to know why. Your grandpa is not a wise man. I have become, with hard work, a good man for your grandmother's sake. But it was not always so. I came from the West, where even a small village has thousands of inhabitants. I was a lazy young man. Initial contact was made with the elderly native male at 0700. At first, we believed he was participating in an assault on the facility, but he proceeded away and through an unmapped canyon. We received authorization to pursue at a distance, and already we've encountered ruins and other promising signs. Just keep 
moving. <laughs> Lara. Dad? Dad? No, it can't be. No, wait. I'm close, Lara. I'm close, Lara. I'm close, Lara. I'm close. Wait, where am I? How, how far does this path go? It's not real. Not him. Dad, stop. Please don't. God, no. Got to get out of here. There is a truth behind all of this. I just want to leave, please. No, no, this isn't. Hallucinating. God, I hope I was. Hallucinating? There, there is a flower in a valley that can bring on visions, but the effects are too weak. <clears throat> Any idea what this place is? I see ducks and pipes. Soviet from the looks of it. It has to be the outpost the Soviets built to study the ruins. My grandmother was a scholar and they brought her here to help with her research, but... That was the last time Grandpa ever saw her. There was only one survivor, an officer who stumbled out a few weeks later. He said the witch made them do things.
Someone's been in here, recently. Building on top of the ruins. What do you see? Some sort of makeshift distillery. It smells just like the flowers. Shit! Of course! She's refining the pollen, weaponizing it. There's no magic here, Navi, I just someone very clever. Wait, but if, if it is just a person, then wouldn't the pollen affect her too? If she can resist it somehow, then so can we. I never held my daughter. They took her from me on the surgeon's table. <laughs>